All right. I'm station manager Ellie. My name is Daniel. I'm the PR manager. And we're K U Y, and we're here with Zach Bellows. Yeah. All right. Hey. Okay. Okay. Just want to introduce yourselves one by one. Yeah, we're Zach Bellows. We're a band from Baltimore, Maryland. My name is Zach. I'm Kyle. And I'm Tom. He plays the drums. I play the bass. And then I sing all the time. All right. Um, the first question is, where are you guys going to be in Moscow? <laughs> So this is actually, you know, two or three years in the works. Um, we booked a show uh, a few years ago. We booked like 150 shows a few years ago and had to cancel them all because of COVID. And then, um, so we've kind of been tracing back and just going back through everyone that booked us a few years ago. And um, yeah, like, honestly, I know most people are like, why are you coming to these small towns? Why are you coming to but the small town shows are like a million times better than like playing, you know, New York City is expensive and kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's always something else going yeah, on. Yeah, so the, the market is right. saturated. So like yeah. last night we were in Enterprise, Oregon, and it was awesome. And I saw it for that. And we were in Denver, which is really cool, but we like coming to like, you know, Places where a lot of people don't go because people are way more appreciative than we do. What do you think is a favorite like show you guys have played or place you visited before? San Diego. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, 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 hard to beat. it's really hard to beat. Like, it's just no beautiful. Much. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, this Moscow and Enterprise last night was were also great. Like, I mean, we love them all. Um, San Diego is just hard to beat. It's just it's a tough place to be. Um, Baltimore is actually kind of a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> so, we love it there, but you get used to it after a while. That's like everything. Yeah. 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 I guess the question I do have is how'd you guys get together? How long? Um, how'd you guys come up with the name for the band? Well, so the name is just my name, and honestly, I kind of wish that we'd done something else. <laughs> <laughs> but like, one of the, the main reason was that all of the stuff was already there, um, like the website and the logo, and, um, all the social media and stuff like that. So it was going to be like expensive and time consuming and also like starting from square one. Yeah, confusing to a lot. Confusing, yeah, to like name anything else. So we just kept it with that. So it's like, it's my name, but it's really just like the name of the band. Because it really is like a, like a collaborative three piece. It's not like a solo artist in the room section. It really is more like a collaborative for sure. kind of three piece. Thing. But, it's taking time to get there too, you know. I mean, to like to answer your question, like they play together in a different band, and then um, we're just doing a duo, right, for a while. Yeah, yeah. For well, a we had like a, a rotating. We were a four piece, we were rotating thing, and then Kyle joined the band, and everything the light shined from the heavens. <laughs> yeah. and everything came together. Really nice we oh. dove head first into trio life. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys been playing together, then? Mm -hmm. yeah. How long were you two going just with the duo? Uh, not that long. I mean, yeah, yeah. Not I, like that was probably total amount of time, a, a couple months. Yeah. Because it was like sort of a transition period after we uh, Thank you. we had done <laughs> uh, we had done the the four piece. Uh, we had also played in a completely different band together, and prior to that, the bands that we were in before that would play shows together. So I've known Zach for what, twelve? Years? We don't need to go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a while, yeah. but yeah, but so about three years with these guys, and most of it's been for COVID, but. We were able to eke out an EP during that and get another full length out. And last year we did a full nationwide tour, and so this is our second full tour of the country. Um, and yeah, like, thank you guys so much, Moscow. Yeah. <laughs> it is awesome. And we're definitely going to come back. And thank you so much for having us here. Okay. I guess we have a couple questions on just the music you guys played tonight. Um, uh, so how many albums, or just a single EP, right? You said, or how many? How long? How many musics or songs are you guys creating together? Oh gosh. Ooh. There's so, the thing is, is we have a bunch. All of our best material is kind of still stuck in the studio that had to shut down uh, 
during COVID. And we had a lot of guest musicians come into play. So it seemed, didn't seem like a really good idea to get them all together in a small space at that time. So we're slowly sort of working through that. But I mean, there's, I don't know, so 20, much 20, 30 songs <laughs> like we have. That we're slowly starting to get through, we're starting to get out there. We have uh, maybe five or six singles right now we have ready to go that we're going to release kind of incrementally when we get home. And, um, and yeah. All of it's online, on the line. That's it. <laughs> For everyone to see. Internet. Yeah, it's on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys said that your next tour um, spot is California. Um, Almost, yeah. yeah. Uh, we do, we're doing Port Eugene, Portland, Seattle, um, Ashland, and Pendleton, Oregon. And then we do, I think, 14 dates in California. Yeah. Yeah. Which it starts in the Bay Area. Pretty much same place. Yeah, I think there's one up north and then we go all the way. Yeah, there's what? Really? We work our way south. Yeah. Are you going back to San Diego? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. last year, last year that was the only California date that we had. Oh. So we drove straight from Portland to San Diego, San Diego in like two days. Which was a nightmare. It, it looked like the apocalypse. It yeah. Was like, yeah. It was like um, smoky from all the fires and dust dusty. Dusty. Just because, yeah. like, you know. I think there's still dust from like Bakersfield. You know? Yeah. Like, Bakersfield just looked like one of those like old west photos. <laughs> like. It literally, like, you didn't home. even see the sun. Mm -hmm. It was like, <laughs> yeah. we're in the apocalypse. There's like yeah. cars burning outside. Like, California's a weird place. But yeah. Um, but this time we have 14 shows together, and we yeah, have really stoked, not to pay for the gas, but we're going to just go play some shows there, for sure. You said you guys have played Idaho Falls. Have you played any other Idaho cities other than um, Idaho Falls and Moscow? I don't think so. We have a few others, the tour that I told you that we had to cancel. I think we had one or two more shows. We had like this one, Idaho Falls, and maybe the Boise show. I, I, thought, I thought we had Boise. I think we had a Boise show, yeah. Um, Where were you guys going to play in Boise? That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, that's a really good question. Yeah. But that, to that point, though, it's hard or fortunate to like get out here at all because a lot of people who we were, or the venues we were supposed to play at, Initially, in that long strip of touring, a lot of them are like closed. Oh, now. So they didn't yeah. survive yeah. COVID. So anytime we can get to these small places, it's something that we're grateful for, for sure. And I guess how get how get tired of you guys to get on the road after having canceled all these shows? Oh my god! Trying to get back to doing this stuff again. It's it's a relief would be an understatement. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's the best way we can like show people like what we do is doing it live. Yeah, we're you know our our internet and stuff is is good, but we see like a disconnect when people watch that and it comes to the show. And they're just like, oh my god, the stuff you have online doesn't do you any justice, kind of thing. So yeah, it was really tough, and like the virtual shows, awkward, not quite, so not quite the same. <laughs> it's cool you can do that. You don't have to spend any gas money, but this like coming here, playing for you know. The, all these people here playing for you guys, meeting you, and you're the station manager yeah. of, the, yeah. of, the, of the local that's not, station. That's not that happening. doesn't happen on, on TikTok. A virtual show. show. Yeah. yeah, no one's writing in the comments on a Facebook live stream. Like, yeah, hey, you do anything in this restaurant. Yeah, like, so um, it's, to, uh, it's what, I mean, it's really like, I know like Kyle's a little newer to it, but like it's why me and Tom started doing this in the first place. It's just like to play live shows. And, like we do not care about winning Grammys. We do not care about at all about being you know, famous, anything like that. All we want to do is just play at nice places and have people be there and have them be like, hey, that was awesome. That was cool. This was worth my Saturday night. Sure, like coming here. And if you can make it worth their Saturday night, night, it's so worth it for yeah. your Saturday night. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a, yeah. The connection is crucial yes. to, to the people. I mean, I think, I think it's what making art is. is like having a chance to like make these connections and talk to people and just have a shared experience. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Like something you did, you, something you said, something you did on the guitar, on the drums, on the bass, like hit me. Probably not the bass, but like on the drums. <laughs> like some, something you did. <laughs> something, something you did. Uh, you know, like 
it moved me. It connected me. You know, like that's what it's all about. Yeah. You know, it's like, and somebody having that experience. Because we've all had that with other bands. Mm -hmm. To be able to kind of do that from the other end is it's the greatest feeling in the world. And I guess it's, um, you, uh, you said it, like, you're referring me to this touring experience. How was that transition? It, this is uh, my second, like, long tour. Like, I've done, like, sprints for the big groups or whatever, but this is, like, the most consistently I've toured. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I've embraced it with, like, open eyes and arms, and I love it. Yeah. It's nice having, like, I mean, it's nice having power around for a million years. But, like, yeah. I mean, honestly, like, but, <clears throat> um, it, it is cool, like, he'll get excited about things that me and Tom are a little jaded on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, like, oh yeah, that, that is cool. Although, like, yeah, I forgot. Not, not, not pilot, like, <laughs> gas station, like, salads yeah. and sandwiches anymore, though. I'm pretty much over this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not me. But there's <laughs> Yeah. Well, that is a yeah. really good question. Do your listeners need to know this? Yeah. Yeah. If you're traveling, um, so you got pilot and flying J. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, that, it's like one or one B. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so if you're, if you're on the road, just know that they have floor to ceiling doors on the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Which I know you're thinking like, who cares? But trust me, if you've been out for a long time. That's yeah, like a, that's it's not huge. a big deal. It's huge, yeah. 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 And and but this tour we've been really into loves, loves. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you guys have one? Do you have? I think we do. Almost. You know what we do? No, we yeah. discovered yeah, yeah. just last night here is Nama. Nama. No, no, no. <laughs> that's new. That's new, actually. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say. Map, I think. I've never seen it. Was it something, it was something else? It was something else that shut down. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, I was looking at it like I have toured the country. A number of times, not once have I seen a nom nom. Like, a nom -nom. like um, <laughs> that. It's like I love this. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It's fantastic. It's called nom. -nom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the well, gas is free now, yeah. and they all have been pretty awesome. So nom nom nom. There's like really one awesome. time they like had like a cover appreciation day. They were giving like cookies when <laughs> you're pulling over gas. Nice. And, uh, yeah. It was really weird. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. pointing a cookie and like it like yeah. like attendants like at the curves being like, here's your cookie. Here's your cookie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least take your cookie. Oh uh, no no no. I'm I'm cookie. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of cookies are they? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Mystery cookies. Yeah. Yeah. Chocolate chip is one thing, oatmeal raisin yeah. says another. Petrol chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But on the flip side of that, just drive past Sinclair. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No way. Yeah. They got a fun little dinosaur, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, to uh, reiterate, Pilot, <laughs> Flying J, Loves is climbing, highly climbing up the road. Yeah. And, and if you're local in your area, Nom Nom is actually. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Nom Nom is just definitely mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. We found gas under $4 there, what, last night? So they they have a place where you can all yeah. yeah. for like three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. If I could hug a business. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Moscow. Cheers. Cheers.